Three days after that contentious San Francisco Board of Supervisors meeting outside UN Plaza where somebody threw a brick into the crowd, Mayor Breed is announcing plans to try to increase public safety in the city of San Francisco. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fon caught up with the mayor as she walked and talked to merchants in Noe Valley today. San Francisco Mayor London Breed says she's doing all she can to help businesses survive and thrive in the city. Today, as she visited with small retail stores around Noe Valley, she acknowledged that more help is needed to keep business owners and residents safe. Breed says the budget she's proposing will include more money to better staff San Francisco's police department. She says applications have been pouring in, and now it's about finding the right candidates. Our goal in the next two years, based on our numbers, based on the information I have so far, we anticipate that we'll have at least 220 new officers on the ground. The mayor says she's also adding more support for police officers. Adding another 22 civilian positions, they're going to replace officers that are inside, that are indoors, that are doing reports, that are doing paperwork, and so that those officers can also be out on the streets. And then the other thing we're doing with our retired police officers who are in ambassadors, we're helping to move them to areas where they can be helpful to be the eyes and ears on the streets. San Francisco residents say things are slowly coming back, but they're hoping for change that leads to safer streets and the return of business. I've been here for about 10 years. We do need more businesses in the area. Downtown with, near Union Square, there's a lot of businesses that are gone. I think a lot of people say it's not quite what it used to be. The mayor's responding to those concerns. I know people want to see something happen now and something is happening now. It's just not happening as fast as people want it to happen. Regarding the fentanyl problem? I do think that there needs to be stricter penalties. I do think that there needs to be some level of accountability because right now people are not afraid to deal fentanyl and we have to change that. When asked about how the mayor plans to pay for the added police and civilian staffing, she said... We have done some reductions from all of our various city departments and we have looked at, you know, some of our various reserves, um, department cuts overall. Mayor Breed says help is also coming from opioid settlement money. We reached out to San Francisco supervisors for a response. They say they're waiting for additional details of the mayor's specific budget proposals. I'm really confident about what we're planning to propose, and we're not aggressively dipping into the reserves, but everyone had to sacrifice this budget cycle. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.